Hey guys, welcome to another Smart Vinyl Sneak Peek. Now, I thought about calling this new series Bedrock, get it? Cause I'm going over my new purchases while in my boring bedroom. But you know what? I don't wanna confuse the eight viewers that I have on my channel by introducing some other series that doesn't get watched. So let's just keep it smart and vinyl. So anyways, yes, I did some record shopping tonight and I got some great stuff to add to the collection. Um, I know, I know I have a video on here about the perils of dollar record bins. Um, and I still stand by that, but this record store, their cheap records were pretty, pretty good tonight. Um, really good. I, I can tell it's been a little cherry pick. Like they got a really great collection. A lot of it was cherry picked, but I still got some good stuff. Um, and they were having a special. It was buy, well actually, okay, they're not even dollar, they're dollar 99 records here. But anyways, it was buy one dollar 99 record, get the second one for free. I'm like, oy, what a deal. So I bought some cheap records. Um, I'll go over a few and then the rest I'll save for upcoming Smart and Vinyl. Um, this one I have right here is really great. Um, beyond words, no more words, right? But it's not Berlin, it's these, these ladies sister sister um they're very very lovely in like that 80s way they're kind of like 80s meets um like share half breed meets stevie nicks one wing dove right um give love one more try well we'll give the aquanet one more try on this now i i tried looking them up i could find nothing and of course when i type in sister sister it comes up with the show sister sister or um, even like Sister Sledge was coming up, but um, I couldn't find anything. Their real names are on here. I looked it up, couldn't find anything. Um, nothing, not even like a Facebook, anything. They're out of Vegas, right? Um, and they have, it says fan club information because they were anticipating a fan club and fans, right? Um, which is Vegas, and I guess it's their dad. It sounds like their dad who ran it. Well, I found something about him. Um, he, I guess he was arrested last year for um, mistreating or whatever, um, a bunch of dogs, like Italian greyhound dogs, or he was breeding them wrong, something, something. But he was the only person I can find that had anything to do with this record, okay? So, well, this record, what is it? So, it's covers, it's covers. So, um, they felt they needed to make this album of covers. Um, they do such things as You Got It All, which is the Jets, uh, you keep me hanging on, which is Supremes, and then um, Kim Wilde. Uh, they do do the greatest love of all, which I actually love. Fun fact: um, one of my guilty pleasures is the first two Whitney Houston albums. Um, I call it Whitney Houston BC. You know, um, I do, I do love it, and I, I'm really excited to actually hear them. You know, because the greatest like I wonder if they're gonna like boom get that I doubt it but let's see um and they also do a cover of Bruce Springsteen's Dancing in the Dark I wonder if they roll up their shirts and they're like hey baby I don't know so I can't listen to it right now though because it's dirty and I don't have anything to clean it there's nothing on YouTube so as soon as I can I think I might even break my own YouTube copyright thing um and and place some on here because really Am I gonna get sued for this? No, we'll watch, I just jinxed it. But anyways, I'll try to, you know, put some on here and not worry about the copyright. If it gets yanked, it gets yanked, you know, but we'll see. Um, but what makes this even better, I know it gets better and there's no dust sleeve, which anyways. Pink vinyl to match the pink album cover. So they went, they spared no cost on making this. Um, I don't think I've ever seen such a, a pink, bubblegum pink colored vinyl before, but it's pretty spectacular and pretty nice. Um, you know, they must have a nice dad because he like paid for them to make this album. You know, that's a good dad. Thanks, dad. So Sister Sister will be coming soon and maybe it will be a whole smart vinyl about it. They deserve it, right? Oh, also another fun fact. Um, it says special thanks to Bill Friedman at the Silver Slipper casino which at first I was like was the silver slipper even still open by then because what greatest love of all is like what 86 85 right 86 um yeah silver slipper closed in 88 so these girls must have been an act there and that was like when it was closing 
So there you go. There you go. Um, what else did I get? Oh, so, you know, like I, I've said before, one thing about record collecting, you should really get to know labels, producers, musicians, because that'll all help you find other albums that you might like. So they, I got this another colored vinyl. This one's blue. And um, it's a group called The Three Degrees. Now, when I first saw it, um, the label is called Areola Records. So as soon as I read that, I was like, right? Um, and But it's called The Runner, and it has a little feet on it. But it says it's produced by Italian's favorite, not Italian's, Italy's favorite, Giorgio Moroder, right? Which I love Giorgio Moroder. So as soon as I saw that, I knew it was good, right? I'm like, of course, of course, right? So, um, yes, produced by Giorgio Moroder, 1979. So, total disco, and it is. It's disco. It's a, a group. Very European disco-y, um, but still good for... Okay, so it was $1.99 for the Sister Sister, so this one was free, right? So, why not, right? Free, and it's colored vinyl, and it's good. I love Giorgio Moroder. So, that was a, a good steal. Um, now, I'm not cheating on Art LeBeau by buying this, but I did buy this Dick Clark. Uh, 20 Years of Rock and Roll, although it's 30 original hits, which is interesting because he does it by like every year. Um, a couple years have two songs, but it's from 1953 to 72. It has such hits as, uh, oh, okay, Superfly by Curtis Mayfield, Crimson and Crover. Crover, what the? F <sighs> it's late. Crimson and Clover. Sorry, but see, I was trying to be all okay. Let's start it over. Ready? Let's do it. Dick Clark, Twenty Years of Rock and Roll, with such artists as Curtis Mayfield, Superfly, Tommy James, Crimson and Clover. What else does it have? I forget. Okay. Uh, sitting on Dock of the Bay, Brown Eyed Girl. Good loving it has. Do you believe in magic? Um, hang on, Sloopy, Wooly Bully. Um, it's really good. And then from like '53, and those it's like um, a lot of doo wop. It has like shaboom, shaboom, like stuff like that. So it's actually really good. And there's a lot of really good songs on here. So I'm really excited about that. Um, the only thing that bothers me, it's two albums, so it's four sides. But they just put it in like a regular cover. It's not gatefolded. That's pretty fucking cheap, Dick Clark. But anyways, um, it's pretty good. So I picked it up. It'll be a good listen. Um, my last steal, it is a steal, um, is John Snyder. You know him, Dukes of Hazzard. Um, everyone had a record back then. But you're like, oh, that's a nice record cover, and he's all cute. Guess what? This isn't the record cover. No. Boom! Japanese import. So it came in this, like, folder, and it has the OB strip, right? Um, so it's actually kind of really cool. I've never seen one in a folder like this. I don't believe this was a promotional copy. I think this is just how it is. Um, it does have the lyric sheet in here. Remember, we talked about this in the Kiss video. Um, no poster. No poster. Uh, the spine is in Japanese. The back is in Japanese. So they must really like John Snyder in um, Japan to go through all of this. So I'm guessing maybe instead of putting a poster, you got the folder. So anyways, um, this was really cool. It'll go in my celebrities. So Dick Clark was a buck ninety nine. So this one was free. And I got some more stuff. I think I'm gonna wait. So anyways, that's my little smart and vinyl sneak peek. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, we're still in October, so you know what that means. My Halloween playlist is still up, so you need to go check it out. A hundred videos of awesome, vintage, totally Dee McKinney themed Halloween videos you need to watch. Music videos, movie trailers, commercials, clips, it's awesome. Watch it now because once November 1st comes around, it's gone. Like Hall and Oates. It's gone. Oh, you know, anyways, enough singing tonight, enough records. Anyways, like, share, subscribe. More Smart and Vinyl coming soon, and I'll talk to you soon. Have a good night, and go buy some vinyl. Bye.